Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with My Hero Academia season 5 episode number 8. Alright, the previous episode, a new match started. We have Todoroki's team versus um, Tetsu Tetsu's team. Now Tetsu Tetsu's team, af uh, after getting introduced to them, we met three characters out of which uh, a few characters we had seen before but we never like you know got the details of them. So we like you know we kind of saw how they are like uh, there were three people uh, the first uh, the girl was called I think Pony and we saw her quirk uh, Hone Nuki and I cannot remember the other guy's name and uh, the guy who can spin his hand you know uh, spin his like you know uh, limbs so like their team and, and obviously Tetsu is there we know new Tetsu from before but these three people like you know they, we only saw them we never got to like you know experience their quirks so that happened and uh, like Todoroki and like you know uh, his team and also another thing happened is we got to see how Ida got an upgrade and how it was like so painful like to kind of like you know change the um, what do you call it the, those pipes those muzzles I'm not sure what they're actually called but you know like upgrading them and in the end we saw how Honenuki underestimated him and that's why like you know Tenya is like Ida is probably going to uh, turn the tables on him and I think probably in this episode we're probably going to see um, Todoroki use his firepower because the previous episode kind of showed Endeavor's part as well which I think is kind of building up the scenario and then like you know we are seeing how Endeavor is kind of repenting for his like past mistakes and how he's trying to change so I'm guessing that was done in the previous episode so that in this episode we can see how uh, Todoroki like uh, like finds his resolve to start using his fire portion of the power as well uh, most probably that's going to happen because it's quite obvious so let's see if like you know uh, if something like that happens or not or if I'm incorrect and let's see what happens with like you know the match in itself so without further ado let's get started with episode number uh, 8 of My Hero Academia season 5 so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three Two, one, go. <coughs> one loss and one win. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like, you know, let's see. Yeah, he, he's so conf confident. He thought that, yeah, like he uh, must be out of time. Like, like, you know, and here we go. He says that, look, that was a long time ago, Mudman. <laughs> wow. Like. Ida showed him, like, you know, you're underestimating us if you think that we were just sitting on our asses. Like, you know, doing nothing. There you go. Alright. Alright, so, this is the um, third match. One win, one loss. So, I think this match, uh, Todoroki's team will win. I think so. Because I don't see them losing because they have Ida, Todoroki. So yeah, it's quite impossible, I think, for them to lose. If, like, unless and until if, like, you know, uh, any, like, you know, t Class B teammates has some kind of trump card, just like, <laughs> you know, the previous match went. Um, the Mushroom Girl did. I, I, I don't remember her name. So unless and until something like that happens, I doubt like they will lose this match. So if they win this match, the next match is Bakugo's match. So is Bakugo like I, I don't know. I also think Bakugo's team is going to win. I don't know why, but I feel like his team is going to win. So that 
like you know if Todorok and Bakugo's team wins so that kind of makes uh, Deku's like match to go badly because you know two wins of the two like you know one of the two main characters so Deku's match probably Deku's going to lose like, these are just predictions I'm making now who knows okay there you go let's see 10 minutes that's a long time <laughs> damn he doesn't even need 10 minutes <laughs> whoa damn yeah <laughs> he became a supersonic however whoa this is impossible system <laughs> Damn! <laughs> yeah, this is not an upgrade. This is like a complete, <laughs> like you know. <laughs> You're under arrest. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, he's trying to flee from this situation. Damn, he's swimming. <laughs> Can either not do any? Yeah. No, he's running away. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Match the conclusion. Okay, like, we're gonna see what happens. Wow. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Oh damn. Wow, this guy with his. Like, you know. I feel like Ojiro never got any kind of upgrade. Like, you know, like, I hope he gets some. Oh, damn. Oh, God, he's like a drilling machine. Damn, he is a drilling machine. Whoa. Wow. Fast. Yeah, he can just do this, you know, like grab them and just depo deposit them in the prison. <laughs> He's talking gets faster. <laughs> He's spinning. <laughs> okay, Ida. He got him. Wow. Good. Stick in the mud. <laughs> okay. One is down. Let's see. Yeah, this is a bad matchup. Like, you know, iron and ice. Yeah. Only fire can melt it, you know? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I hope this will work. Because he's iron. Oh, damn. Wait. Wait, wouldn't he melt or some? Okay. Oh, okay. There. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, that's some training.
Okay. Yeah, yeah, more, more heat, more heat. Go beyond the limit. Like, however, like, you know, training he did. Like, I'm sure, like, f fire is the only thing that can defeat him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Remembering those times. Wow. Wow. There you go. Come on. I was saying, whatever training he did, it won't work if the heat, the heat gets too much. You know? Like, no one can stop that. Like, he's literal fire, you know? Like, how can we stop that? Being iron, you there you go. Wow, all right, let's see <laughs> the cameras. Yeah, he's using it. Yep. <laughs> Hot test. <laughs> yeah, that. Come on. Oof. Oh my god! Come on, Todoroki! <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. Thunderhorn? <laughs> Let's see. Oh no, there must. <laughs> wow, good job. Come on. Let's go. Oh! Yeah. Oh no, Honenuki, come on. Oh my god, they almost had them. Oh god. This this is a really annoying quirk, you know? Come on. Whoa! There you go. He he got his time to shine. Oh zero. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Come on. Oh no, another Trump Oh god, come on, come on! Oh god! Wait, he's taking him directly to prison! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, what is this?
Oh my- Oh my god, this is tense! Yeah, the f heat! Oh my god! Go beyond. Plus ultra. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh no, he, he's concentrating into his hand. Wow! Okay, let's go. D d oh! Oh no! Come on! Come on! A little bit! Oh no! this oh oh my god i'm getting too hyped up oh all right yeah if he is neutralized, I'm sure they can win. Like, Hononuki is really strong, in a way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> come on, come on. Like, I really want them to win. Like, Todoroki's team. Oh no! Uh, oh god! Whoa! What is he doing? Run, Ida! Oh my! Oh god! Can't you dodge sideways? Like I don't. Or maybe you know it's like a uh, one directional. Come on, please! Oh no! Come on, Ida! Oh god! Is this a tie? Is this going to be a tie? Ah, oh, come on, Vlad. Y yeah, especially in this, like... Yeah, this is going to be a tie. I know, oh my god. Oh yeah, Sunonori and... Oh, oh I f forgot about them. Okay, come on. Oh no! Yeah. Come on. What is she going to throw? Throw him from Okay. She's just she's just going to stand Oh no, what is... Yeah, how is this going to... Bakugo? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a safe route.
Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, this is, this is going to be a tie like this. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're trying to like tie the match. Oh my god. It's almost the end. Come on. So if Todoroki wakes up, that's the only way to win. Todoroki. Oh no. It's a tie. I never thought something like this would happen. Oh my god. Oh god. Yeah, he rescued him. That's his first priority. Oh my god. So yeah, Bakugo will win the match. I can tell that. I think so, at least. Hmm. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah, it's so close, you know? Like... What can I say? Like... I can respond quickly to her new... Yeah... Okay, yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, like, this can be, like, you know... Properly. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, he, like... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. So Kage, uh. Okay. Oh, this girl, her name. What? What? Wait, <laughs> is he making some weird plan? <laughs> okay, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> this episode, my god, okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the best episode of this season, I have to say, like up until now. Yeah. Like, it was, like, so tense, like, each and every moment felt as if, like, you know, this can go either way. <laughs> Fantastic episode, this. This was a, such a good episode, I have to say. Oh my god. Like, everyone had something to do. Like, you know, like, it did not feel like, you know, like, anyone was forgotten. Everyone had some important thing. And... Like, it was so very well, like, balanced, the whole thing. Like, it's not, like, one-sided. You know, the enemy team, the, the, their team, everyone was so evenly matched. Like, each and every character were kind of like the weakness of another character. 
you know, and they were kind of like going back and forth, back and forth, trying to like one up each other. And it was like one, like <laughs> at one time they're winning and the, the next moment, uh, like the other team is kind of like, you know, turning the tables and then again, like they're at a disadvantage and then like it goes like this, like, you know, like a cycle. Uh, so like, like, I think like if, like if an, if a match, like I'm not ta only talking about like My Hero Academia, I'm talking about any anime, like, you know, like there are like i've seen a lot of animes where like certain um like you know uh, okay here we go certain matches end up as a tie if if you want to make a match which ends up as a tie you should do it do something like this i have to say like this was so like you know like it, this feel like a real what can i say like you know like a real struggle that I, I felt the struggle they had to go through to just like you know to just go one step further but unfortunately no one could do it like, you know, both of them kind of like both of the team were unable to take that one step forward and they like it ended as a tie. Like this is a way like this is the correct way to do a match which ends as a tie. Like, you know, like no team is advantageous over the other. And it feels like like, you know, like it feels like like, yeah, this can go either way. That's how you do a match which ends as a tie. Like this was such like I have to say, like I really like this episode. This was like you know like like this is this was something this episode oh my god like where where should, where should i even start <laughs> like so many things happened here like you know like <clears throat> okay first of all we see uh, uh, ida's uh, like supersonic speed you know and uh, how he like you know like like honenuki did like i think like the, the decision that honenuki took here was so correct like he decided to run away and not run away as per se he decided to retreat a tactical retreat so that he can like because obviously he knew that he would be a, at a big disadvantage against ida like their powers are not like you know uh, going to like <clears throat> what can i say like he he'll be at a big disadvantage especially in front of his power because like uh up until then he thought that he could stop him because he can like soften play like you know soften the ground but now that either is moving at such a huge speed like he could probably capture him even before he can like, activate his quirk so he decides like he takes the correct decision and he decides to like run away from that area and go to a place where he can help his teammates now like like the thing that he did is is it, it, you know like it, it's very like you know clever and very like what can i say like the, the decision was so um correct in a way because because he went from there to his teammates to pony he went to pony didn't he um yeah i think so like, you know because he did that they were able to kind of like you know hold hold uh, uh, their uh, what can i say position the, like they were not captured like so many things happened like i kind of like i'm getting like you know mixed up in everything okay so yeah um that like he he he, he softens the ground he swims and run, like you know goes away from that place and then what happens is like we see um like the fight between uh what's his name i forgot um uh oh here it is sen kaibara uh, the guy who um rotates his um, arm and uh oh Ojiro. like then we get to see their fight like how they were fighting and <clears throat> just a sec yeah how they were fighting and like how ojiro was kind of getting pushed back now I always thought that I don't know why, but I always thought that Ojiro was kind of like you know, um, not given proper attention by the other, like you know, by like what can I say? Like he was the only one who we never got to see getting any upgrades. This episode did justice to him. Like we see him kind of like you know contributing a big part to this match. And even though like his like works are his work is not as flashy as the other characters like he is a great martial like martial artist you know so like he was at a big disadvantage here because of the other teams again his quirk was a bit disadvantageous to him he can rotate his hands and like you know like he like he, he's like a drilling machine 
so that was really like you know like especially in front of like hand to hand combat obviously sen uh, again i forgot his name sen kaibara uh, like obviously sen kaibara is going to win because you know like he he's like a drilling machine and whereas ojiro is like uh, like you know uh, using his own body like his own flesh and bones to fight so <clears throat> yeah thankfully ida came in and <laughs> like that was amazing he like just like kidnapped him out of that place sen and like ran, ran straight to the prison and de deposited him into the prison box <laughs> yeah that was funny <clears throat> And then we get, next we get get to the uh, Tetsu Tetsu's portion of the fight where um, now like as I said like obviously like um, Todoroki started like you know started using his fire <coughs> excuse me power and now I thought like maybe it would be a, um, like enough to I don't know like a melt metal <laughs> I thought but like you know he kind of went through the training like technically um he is not like Tetsu Tetsu is steel isn't he? Or is he like iron? Like, just a sec. Um, like his like his name Tetsu Tetsu means iron. Tetsu means iron. So, oh my God, where is he? Just a sec. Tetsu. I, I'm just checking if his <coughs> body is made of iron or is it made of steel. Like is yeah steel steel technically not um iron like obviously like steel comes from iron but there's a different like uh, difference between iron and steel uh, like steel is a lot more um stronger so yeah like <laughs> like it's a bit confusing you know why because his name is Tetsu 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 means iron and I think uh, steel is Hagane I think so like you know in Japanese at least isn't it or am i wrong uh hagane hagane steel yep i think so yeah it is steel so his his name is tesu tesu which means iron iron but his quirk is steel so like you know it, it's a bit confusing whereas i think like as i said like steel is hagane in japanese so <clears throat> anyways now it's like he said that he kind of did a training where he like you know it was in a like you know a hot place in, in a stove and he kind of trained it that's why he is like he's turning red but he is able to withstand it now like even though he went to the train in my opinion if to, like you know if todoroki was like this is fire you're talking about like fire can melt almost anything at like a huge amount of like you know temperature for example let's take like I'm taking a big like you know uh, like I'm taking a big uh, comparison let's take the sun it's like 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 it's the hottest thing that can ever exist so like if you take a steel in, in, in a sun it'll definitely like be destroyed like there's no stopping it like so even though like um obviously like I like I don't think like the Todoroki can uh, like increase his temperature which will kind of match the sun's temperature that's impossible I think you know but he can like you know increase his temperature so much that he could that could also affect uh, steel so that's what he was trying to do here but at the same time that's also affecting his own body like we know that he's like one side is eyes and one side is fire so that he can counteract that in a little bit because you know like as he increases his fire temperature his eyes is going to counteract that and like cool his body down but obviously there's a limit to it so like <clears throat> you know like uh, that like it's also affecting his body so the, it's like a double-edged sword so obviously he needs more training for, like you know to be able to properly like use this uh, because up until now he didn't never like you know as he said like i am more accustomed to using ice so i just started with ice if i started with fire i could have probably won this but you know like his like he still has a little bit of uh, uh what can i say uh, discomfort to like you know use his dad's quirk in a way but as he said like he'll, he'll probably try his best from the next time and try his best to kind of use all his power all the firepower in his arsenal so yeah and uh, so yeah as i was saying like it's also like affecting his own body so like obviously it's like a double-edged sword so 
it, it was like uh, uh, like you know battle of endurance that was basically it so <clears throat> yeah and then like you know like what he did here is okay like the next thing that happens was so like amazing i have to say uh, like he like increases his heat the heat that's just to punches him and uh, then just a sec Mm, where is that place uh, okay here it is like then uh, we see Todoroki um, con like you know concentrating his firepower in his hand and <laughs> this play like this like portion of the anime is so damn cool like he like you know he is trying to punch Tetsu Tetsu with that hot hand like obviously he's concentrated his full full power power uh, firepower in his hand so it would have probably been a lethal blow you know to test this so he was trying to do that <laughs> in comes honenuki and like this this area was so dense you know like he like uh, softens the area and todoroki loses his balance and like you know he he falls down and then he like they see like the like hon like tetsu tetsu is almost like you know like like going unconscious and <clears throat> here it is then we see that uh the the thing um what, what are that that that's uh, like metal structure it falls on todoroki todoroki is also losing consciousness now and he hardens it <laughs> you know Honenuki hardens it, tries to harden it, in comes Ida and gives him like such a kick that his like you know mask like you know blows off, half of his mask blows off and like it's so tense like you know like, like at one time like we're seeing like yeah Todoroki is going to win and then we see like Honenuki coming in and then we're thinking like oh maybe not maybe like you know Todoroki is unconscious now what will happen Honenuki is going to win in comes Ida and then we think that oh like Ida is here Ida is going to win so, it's, so, so this team is going, probably going to win Honenuki is like un now unconscious and <laughs> like you know then <coughs> Ida takes uh, uh, not Todoroki and tries to get out of the situation you know, tries to get out of the situation rescue first his like you know his motto and um like this is really like tense in a way and then honoruki uh, honoruki gets up he thinks that yeah like i cannot be the reason why uh, like my teammates lose you know so he <laughs> he makes another plan he softens the the big structure and tells tetsu to ram it and that was like you know that was all they could do like after that they lost consciousness but the thing that they did th that like sealed the deal um, the whole structure fell on excuse me yeah the whole structure fell on Ida uh, Todoroki is already con and unconscious Ida falls down Honoruki like hardens the structure so that Ida can can't get out of that place Todoroki is unconscious and it's a mess like everyone's either unconscious or like you know like or cannot do anything so only the people who are left is um what's 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 her name pony and um tentacle okay uh so both of them are the only uh people left and obviously like ojiro also got captured uh yeah ojiro got captured didn't he just a sec like so many things happened i'm like forgetting stuff like who did uh, pony capture at that time it was ojiro wasn't it just a sec i'm just trying to check um yeah like before that the whole uh, like tentacle versus uh, pony also happened yeah there you go uh, ojiro came in at that time to like help them you know oh that this is also another cool moment you know like so many like uh, amazing parts in this episode where like ojiro is kind of fighting with po uh, pony and uh, not ojiro sorry tentacle is fighting with pony and ojiro, uh, ojiro comes in kind of like you know captures a pony and like catches his her horn <clears throat> And again, Honenuki kind of like comes here and like <laughs> tries to make like you know tries to uh, make this situation even like you know advantages for them. But uh, okay, and then what? 
Oh yeah, here. Here's the time when Ojiro like shows his like you know like his like upgraded power. Like what fist of the tail swamp neck spin, and he completely like you know like completely like turns the whole thing around, and kicks uh, Honenuki. Honenuki like almost gets like you know uh, defeated, but he he does not get defeated obviously, and <laughs> Pony tries to stab him. Uh, Ojiro was uh, tentacle was all, all almost like you know getting flung off, but he kind of caught into Ojiro. And <laughs> Pony does one of the amazing things that I, I never would have thought something like that. Pony stabs like Ojiro uh, with all of the horns and like, like you know bashes him into the prison, and that's how like you know like Ojiro also gets captured. Like so many amazing uh, potions in this. Uh, like you know in this episode and all right so back to the thing that i was talking about uh like so everyone is unconscious and then like uh, tentacle and pony are the only one left pony decides to kind of like you know like she she realizes that she cannot win in this moment because like obviously like tentacle would probably stop her in a way so she decides to take like play the safe route she decides to take uh you know like because like i think like point decision here is another intelligent thing that she did you know why because um like so how could you win this match by capturing the other teammates and putting them into prison now here's the thing if pony tries to take todoroki and de deposit him to prison as he, as she said she could not carry the others because that would kind of like strain her she was unable she would be unable to do that she won't be able to uh, help her teammates so what will that uh, like you know what will that like uh, do the, his her other teammates will be there unconscious so like by the time she takes todoroki into the prison Oj uh, like tentacle would probably use his multiple hands grab all the prisoners and uh, not prisoners all the unconscious like members of team b and take them all to prison and they would like win now here's another thing pony would probably be able to take todoroki in why because ida is captured you know she, he, like he's he's conscious and he is like uh, like you know in a, in a bad like position like the, the thing hardened and he cannot get out so pony cannot take her him out he cannot she cannot deposit him to prison so that like that will not happen tentacle is conscious so she won't be able to take him to prison the only person he could she could take to prison is todoroki so if she takes todoroki two people will be in her prison and tentacle would take all the other members of team b and put them all into prison and win the match like that's some like you know like intelligent thinking at that moment like i think the, the real mvp of like this match is pony like her that that one decision that she made in the end completely turned the like you know like a uh, whole game around like if he took if she took a different decision they would have probably lost so like yeah like like everyone did like like even their part everyone was so damn amazing in this episode but i think the one who really was able to completely turn the whole game around and make this a tie was pony so yeah pony is the mvp of this match like <laughs> I'm, I'm curious as to what you guys think like this is like my like you know the way i am interpreting this like at least for, for me like her uh, quick thinking and her intelligence really really completely like turned this whole game around and that was like something like obviously like like the thing that she the decision that she made here it, it had to be made in a split of a second and she made the correct decision and that takes a lot of you know a lot of what can i say mm, uh, you know talent or whatever you know and yeah like that's amazing i have to say like she took the correct decision here and even though i am sad that you know i really wanted todoroki's team to win because obviously we can see how todoroki is trying you know uh to what can i say like uh like cope up with his like you know like his previous like uh, beliefs like you know his ideals that he always thought that he would follow that yeah i won't use my dad's power but he's trying to like you know overcome that 
and Ida also as well. But at the same time, you know, like all the like team B members as well, like they, they also must have like did some kind of training, which obviously we are not being shown. You know, like we only saw the backstory and the like, you know, the, the thing of team A. So I'm guessing like if we saw their part of the story as well, I would have also sympathized with them as well. But as you know, like this obviously like, like, like we only know the circumstances and we are a lot, a lot more attached to Todoroki, uh, like, you know, Ida, like team A. So obviously we're going to support team A in a way, but that does not mean that team B is in, in any way, you know, less than like, you know, deserving the win. So in a way, you know, like even though like I at least wanted uh, Todoroki's team to win, I have to like, you know, like praise Pony for his quick thinking, uh, for her quick thinking and her quick decision making. And yeah, this was an intense match, like in a lot of ways. The action department, the decision making of Pony in the end, so good. So yeah, fantastic episode. This is definitely the best episode of this season. And let's look forward to the up upcoming episode if some episode is able to surpass this i'm sure there will be more episodes like this so yeah and in the end we see bahu kind of plotting something i don't know what he's plotting <laughs> he's kind of like you know smirking and saying yeah deku i'll show you <laughs> oh my god and uh who knows like let's see like i kind of like predicted that maybe todoroki would win this again you know, todoroki's team would win this match that did not happen and now i'm again predicting I think probably Bakugo's team is going to win the next match. Let's see if it comes true or not. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. This was episode number 8 of My Hero Academia Season 5. Such an amazing episode. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button. And be sure to uh, uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Uh, comment down below anything you want to say, your opinions about this episode or anything else. I'll check them out. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching again. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of My Hero Academia Season 5. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.